Hi, welcome to Teach Math. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang even and odd functions. So, isa sila sa mga special types of functions. So, by the way, lahat kasi ng function ay pwede natin ma-classified as even, pwede rin namang odd, or wala sa kanilang dalawa. Neither add nor even. So, meron tayong dalawang possible ways para ma-determine natin yung classification ng mga functions na yun. So, pwede natin siya ma-determine or ma-classify gamit ang kanyang graphical illustration okay, graphically and then yung pangalawa naman is yung mismong function itself or algebraically okay, pero for this um, specific discussion mag-focus tayo sa algebraic test na tinatawag alright, so again, if you want to perform or apply algebraic test to determine if the given function is um, classified as even, add, or neither add nor even so we need to substitute the value of negative x for every x in the function so meaning pag algebraic test ang gagamitin natin, kailangan lang natin i-substitute yung value ng x, gagawin natin siyang negative x. So, we need to evaluate the function using negative x as our domain. Okay? So, papalatan natin yung sign yung x, gagawin natin negative x. Now, kailan sila magiging even, kailan sila magiging add. Okay? So, again, for even, a function is even when for each x in the domain of the function, f of negative x is equals to f of x. Meaning, kapag meron tayong isang function na in-evaluate natin using negative x, okay, at yung answer ay hindi nagbago, okay, does not change every sign, okay, even we replace the value of x, okay, with negative x. That is an example of even function. Now, for odd function, a function is odd when for each x in the domain of the function, we have f of negative x is equals to the negative of the entire function. Meaning, for odd functions naman, kapag nilagyan natin or in-evaluate natin ang function using negative x, magiging negative o magpapalit lahat ng sign sa loob ng function na yun. So, let's try to apply this um, concept and then determine natin kung ang given function ay even, odd, or neither odd nor even. So, in other words, wala sa kanilang dalawa. So, let's proceed to example number 1. Let's say we have f of x is equals to x squared plus 4. Okay? So, again, since algebraic tests ang i-apply natin, our first step is to plug in the value of negative x. We need to substitute the value of x. Okay, gagawin natin siya or i-replace natin siya with negative x. That means to test this function, it will give us f of x, okay, or f of negative x. Alright, so papalatan na natin ng negative x yung magiging input natin. And then later, let's double check kung anong mangyayari sa function. So again, that is equals to x squared and then plus 4. This time, let's plug in the value of our domain or input, which is negative x. So lahat ng x na makikita natin, papalatan natin ng negative x. So it will give us, so we have x or negative x and then we have squared, and then copy the remaining plus 4. Now, let's simplify this, okay? So, after natin may substitute, your next task is to simplify the given equation or expression. Negative x squared is equals to positive x squared, right? So, negative x squared means negative x times another negative x. Negative times negative is equals to positive. So, that is equals to positive x squared, and then copy the remaining plus 4. Alright, so that is our final answer. So that's it. So ito na yung pinaka-final answer natin. Now, after we evaluate the function, yung, yung pinaka-last step natin is to compare the answer to the original function. Okay, i-compare lang natin siya. So again, our original function, we have x squared plus 4. So let's copy this function and then equate natin siya dito. Tignan natin kung nagbago ba lahat ng sign niya. Alright, so again, our original function is x squared plus 4, and then our final answer is x squared plus 4, meaning example number 1 is an example of even functions. Okay, so again, the right-hand side of the equation of an even function does not change even if x is replaced with negative x. Hindi siya nagbago, walang nagbagong sign, walang nagbagong values, that is an example of even function. Now, let's proceed to example number 2. How about function g? Okay? So, g of x is equals to x cubed 
minus 4x. Again, same procedure your first task is to evaluate this function. Galigin natin siya ng negative x as our domain. So it will give us g of x or g of negative x. Alright, so plug in natin yung negative x. And then that is equals to the function itself. We have x cubed minus 4x. Now, our next step is to substitute the value of negative x. Okay? Sa bawat x na makikita natin sa loob ng ating function. Therefore, this one will give us x. Okay? Therefore, that is equals to negative x. And then, let's copy the exponent. We have negative x cubed minus 4 times x. Okay? So, let's replace the value of x. Gawin natin siyang negative x. Okay? So, yung mga inputs natin ng negative x, yun yung naging value ng x ngayon sa ating mismong function. Now, our last step is to simplify. So, let's simplify this. Now, we have negative x raised to 3. Negative x raised to 3 means negative x times negative x times another negative x. So, negative x times negative x is positive x times another, okay, negative x that is equals to negative x. Meaning, the sign for the first term of this given um, expression or equation, we have negative x cubed. Okay, the sign is negative. Alright, so let's proceed. How about negative 4 times negative x? So negative 4 times negative x, the value is equals to a positive number that is positive 4x. And that's it. So that is the final answer. Now, let's compare this answer to our original function. So let's copy this original function and then compare natin yung values na meron sila. Okay? So again, as you observe, I have here x cubed minus 4x as our original function. And then the final answer is negative x cubed plus 4x. So ang common observation natin dito, every term, okay, kailangan walang magpapalit. So kapag walang nagpalit, that is an even function. Pero kung lahat ay nagpalit, okay, that means that is an example of odd function. Let's double check individually. x cubed, okay, from positive x cubed to negative x cubed. And then, followed by from negative 4x to positive 4x. So obviously, nagpalit lahat ng sign na meron tayo. That means example number 2 is an example of odd functions. And that's it. So example number 2 is an example of odd function. Now, let's proceed to example number 3. For example number 3, we have this a of x is equals to x squared minus 3x plus 4. Same procedure. Let's evaluate this one. Let's plug in the value of negative x, okay? So, it will give us a of x, okay? So, it will give us a of negative x, and that is equal to this function. That is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4, all right? And then, let's plug in the value of negative x. So, it will give us, so that is equal to x squared. That means it will give us negative x, and then let's copy the um, exponent, which is squared, okay? So, it will give us negative x squared, and then minus 3 times another x, okay? So, papalitan natin siya ng negative x. And then, copy the remaining term plus 4. Now, let's double check our inputs, okay? So, yung mga values ng x natin, naging negative x. So, ang pinaka-last step natin before tayo mag-compare is to simplify this. Now, let's simplify Negative x squared is equals to a positive x squared. Okay? Negative times negative is positive. Now, followed by negative 3 times negative x. Alright? Negative 3 times negative x is a positive number 3x. And then copy the remaining plus 4. And that's it. That is the final answer after the evaluation. Now, our last step is to compare okay, the original function sa ating mismong final answer individually per term we double check natin yung value and then yung indicated sign na meron sa kanya okay so again our original function we have x squared minus 3x plus 4 and then the final answer is x squared plus 3x plus 4 so from positive x squared to positive x squared nag stay meaning this is an indicator of odd or sorry even nag stay siya di ba so possible siya maging even function how about the second term so, let's proceed to the second term. The second term, we have negative 3x as our original function to positive. So, that is, okay, the concept of odd functions, right? And then, for the last term, from positive 4 
So, yung last term natin, or last numbers, from positive 4 to positive 4. So, again, another concept of even function. Now, since nagsama yung concept of even and odd function para sa given problem na to, hindi nagbago lahat <coughs> ng sign, hindi rin nagstay lahat ng sign. Okay? Meaning, this one is an example of neither odd nor even function. Okay? Hindi siya considered as even, hindi rin siya considered as odd at the same time. Alright? So, that is an example of um, neither odd nor even function. Alright? Now, let's proceed to example number 4. So, for example number 4, let's say we have this b of x is equals to negative x squared plus 10. Okay? Same procedure lang i-apply natin palagi. So, again, your first task is to plug in the value of negative x. Gagawin natin siyang input sa ating mismong function. So, again, it will give us b of negative x and that is equals to negative x squared. Okay? So, let's use white. So, that is equals to negative x squared plus the value of 10. Alright? And then, your next step is to substitute. So, let's evaluate this function using negative x. So, it will give us, okay, negative of x. Okay? So, papalatan natin yung x na to ng negative x. And then, let's copy the exponent squared. And then, copy the remaining term plus 10. Now, let's double check our um, domain. So, from x to negative x. And then, our next step is to simplify. Alright? So, it will give us negative of negative x squared. So, negative times negative is positive. Therefore, that is negative of positive x squared. Alright? And then, copy the remaining plus 10. Meaning, this is also equals to negative times x squared. So, we have negative x squared plus 10. And then, ang pinaka-last na gagawin natin, since yun yung pinaka-final answer natin after evaluation, is to compare this function sa ating original um, function. So, again, our original function, we have negative x squared. So, yung kakopy ko lang siya sa ating screen. And then, plus 10. Individually, i-check natin yung bawat terms na meron tayo. Okay? So, number 1 is from negative x squared to negative x squared nag-stay. Okay? So, that is um, possible even function. Let's check the remaining term. So, from positive 10 to positive 10. Meaning, after evaluation, hindi nagbago yung values and yung sign na ating mismo function. Therefore, example number 4, or this function, function letter B, is an example of even function. Alright? So, let's proceed to example number 5. How about um, problems with three set of terms? Okay? So, let's say g of x is equals to negative x cubed plus 5x minus 2. So, let's double check. Okay? So, let's um, plug in the value of negative x. So, we have g of negative x and that is equal to this function. So, we have negative x cubed plus 5x minus 2. So, let's um, substitute the value of x. Gawin natin siyang negative x lahat. So, it will give us negative of x. Okay? Gawin ko siyang negative x. And then, let's copy the exponent cube plus 5 times the value of x. So, let's replace. Let's use negative x. And then, copy the remaining minus 2. Okay? So, again, i-double check natin yung mga pinalagin natin. So, from x to negative x. So, 5x we have 5 times negative x. And then, i-simplify natin siya individually. Okay? So, negative x cubed. Therefore, it will give us negative of. Okay? Negative x cubed means, since cubed siya, okay, isa sa mga technique natin is to consider the exponent. So, kapag ang exponent ay even number, automatically the number is positive. If the sign naman, like this one, is, um, or the exponent, okay, is an odd number, automatically your possible answer, if you raise a negative number to an odd exponent, the answer is also negative. So this one is ex equals to negative x cubed. Alright? Followed by 5 times negative x. So 5 times negative x, that is equals to, oh sorry, that is minus, okay, or negative 5x. And then, copy the remaining minus 2. Now, let's um, combine this one. So, negative of negative x cubed, that is equals to positive x cubed. And then, let's copy the remaining terms. Minus 5x, minus 2. And that's it. So, that is the final answer. Now, the original function, we have x cubed plus 5x minus 2. Let's copy this one. And then, let's compare the terms, the signs individually. Okay? So, again, we have positive x cubed to positive x cubed. Therefore, possible siya maging even. How about the second term? From positive 5x to negative. Okay? So, automatically, pag napansin ninyo na yung dalawang 
um, concepts, okay, nagbago yung isa, yung isa naman hindi, or vice versa, automatically, this one is an example of neither add nor even functions. Hindi siya even, hindi rin siya considered as odd. Alright, so let's proceed to our last example. Example number 6, okay? So for example number 6, let's say we have this f of x is equals to x cubed plus 4x. Okay, so same procedure. So let's plug in. So it will give us f of um, x or f of negative x. Alright, and then let's copy the entire function. That is equals to x cubed plus 4x. And then let's plug in the value of negative x. So that is equals to x. Okay, so papalatan natin siya ng negative x. And then let's copy the exponent cubed plus the value of 4 times another x. We have negative x. So let's double check our inputs or domains. So from x to negative x and then 4x to okay, 4 times negative x. And then let's simplify. Therefore, it will give us negative x cubed, meaning the answer is also negative okay, x. And then let's attach the exponent. And then we have 4 times negative x. Okay, so it will give us negative 4x. And that's it. So that is the final answer. Now, let's copy this um, original function and then let's compare our final answer sa bawat terms na meron sa kanya. Alright, so let's double check. I have here positive x cubed to negative x cubed. Therefore, possible siya maging odd function. Now, let's double check the remaining term. So, kapag nagbagay yung remaining term, automatically, this one is considered as odd na. So, from positive 4x to negative 4x. As you observe, the entire signs, okay, sa ating final answer, ay nagpalit. So, from positive um, signs to negative signs, or vice versa. If that's the case, automatically, this one is considered as an odd function. And that's it. So that is the concept or yung difference ng even, ng odd, and then neither odd nor even functions. I hope you learned something new for um, this video discussion. Thank you so much and God bless.